welcome to Easy BTEC channel. So in this module we will see any radic system number is given to us. How to find the corresponding decimal equivalent that is one and the second one is from decimal number system number is given to us. How to find any radix number equivalent right. So first we will see radix any radix number system is given to us. How to find the corresponding decimal equivalent. So this we have seen already binary to binary to decimal we have seen. So apart from binary number if you would like to find the corresponding decimal equivalent. So how to do? So what we have to do means we have to multiply each digit. We have to multiply each digit by the corresponding weight and then we have to add all those. So we will get the corresponding decimal equivalent. So whatever number, whatever may be the radix that is given to us for example 234 two, to the base 5 is given to us and we would like to find the corresponding decimal equivalent. So what we have to do means we have to assign the weights 5 power 0, 5 power 1 and 5 power 2 right. So whatever may be the radix, so that radix we have to assign the weight starting from LSP to MSP and then we have to multiply the corresponding digit with the respect to weight. So 2 into 5 square plus 3 into 5 power 1 plus 4 into 5 power 0, right. So 2 into 5 square means 25 plus 3 into 5 plus 4 into 5 power 0 means 1. So 225 is 50 plus 3 into 5 is 50 plus 4 into 1 is 4. So what is the corresponding sum? 4 plus 5 9 and 1 plus 5 69. So for the given number 234 in base 5 the corresponding decimal equivalent is 69. So what we have to do? We have to multiply the each digit with the corresponding weight and then we have to add all those we will get the corresponding decimal equivalent right. So this conversion we will see with more examples. So next. So we will take one example. So 4310, 4310. So this is also base 5. So what we have to do means we have to assign the weights. So 5 power 0, 5 power 1, 5 power 2 and 5 power 3. Right. And next multiply the corresponding digit with respect to weight. 4 into 5 power 3 plus 3 into 5 square plus 1 into 5 power 1 plus 0 into 5 power 0 right. Next 5 power 3 means 125 plus 3 into 5 square means 25 plus 1 into 5. So as it is a 0 so it will be if you multiply with 5 power 0 also it will be anyway 0. So next 4 into 125 means 500. Right. So 3 into 25 means 75 plus 1 into 5 is 5. So what is the corresponding if we add 5 plus 5 10 right 10. So 1 will be added to 7 so it will become 8 so 580. So for 4 3 1 0 in radix r the corresponding decimal equivalent is 580. Corresponding decimal equivalent is 580. 580. Next we will say another example. The given base is 12. The given base is 12. So we have to assign the weights 12 power 0, 12 power 1 and 12 power 2. Now the next step is multiply the digit with respect to weight. So 1 into 12 square 
plus 9 into 12 power 1 plus 8 into 12 power 0. 12 square means 144. 144 plus 9 into 12 plus 8 into 12 power 0 means 1. So this is 144 plus 9 into 12 means 108 plus 8. So what is the sum? So 8 plus 8, 16, 16 plus 4, 20, so 0. So 2 will be there, 2 plus 4, 6, 2, 60. So the corresponding decimal equivalent for the given number 198 in base 12, the corresponding decimal equivalent is 2, 6, 0. So what we have to do, simply assign the weights, Multiply the digit with respect to weight and sum all those we will get the corresponding decimal equivalent. Right? We will see one more example. 4, 3, 5. So the given number is in octal. So we have to find the corresponding decimal equivalent. So assign the weights. So 8 power 0, 8 power 1 and 8 power 2. Now multiply the digit with respect to weight. So 4 into 8 square plus 3 into 8 power 1 plus 5 into 8 power 0. Right? So 4 into 8 square means 64 plus 3 into 8 plus 5 into 8 power 0 means 1. So 4 into 64 means 4 fours are 16, 1, 4, 6 are 24 and 25 and 3, 8 are 24 plus 5 into 1 is 5. So if we add, so 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 6, 15 and 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 5, 8. So, so it is 2. So the corresponding Decimal equivalent for the given 4, 3, 5 in octal is 2, 8, 5. 2, 8, 5. Right? So, we will see one more example. So, the given base is 6. So, 3, 4, 5 to the base 6. So, what we have to do? Assign the weight 6 power 0 from LSP to MSP in increase of order 6 power 1, 6 power 2. Now next step is multiply with the respect to digits 3 into 6 square plus 4 into 6 plus 5 into 6 power 0, right? So 6 square means 36 plus this is 6 power 1, so plus 4 into 6, 5 into 6 power 0 is 1. So if you multiply 3, 6 are 18, right? 3, 6 are 18, 3, 3 are 9. So 108. So this is 4, 6 are 24 and this is 5. So 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 8, 17. 17, 1 will be forwarded. So 3, 1, 3, 7. So for the given radix 6, 3, 4, 5, the corresponding decimal equivalent is 1, 3, 7. Right? So this is the procedure that we need to follow while converting any radix to decimal. So we have to assign the weights and multiply the respect to digit with the respect to weight and add all those we will get the corresponding decimal equivalent. Now how to find decimal number is given to us. We were asked to find in any radix. So for this what we have to do means we have to consider the integer part separately and fractional part separately. So for integer part what we have to do means what how we have done in the earlier. So we have to repeatedly divide the number by r repeatedly divide the number by r and accumulate the reminders. We have to collect the reminders. How to collect the reminders? Reminders we have to collect in the reverse order. That means from top to bottom. So this is for integer part. We have to divide that number repeatedly by R and we have to collect the reminders in the reverse order. What about fractional part? For fractional part we have to multiply with the radix and we have to accumulate the integer part or we have to collect the integer part and 
those digits we have to write in the same order they are generated that means top to bottom so for integer part we have to repeatedly divided by the radix and we have to collect the remainders in the reverse order for the fractional part we have to repeatedly multiply the fractional part and we have to collect the integer parts in the same order right so this also we will see with the help of an example so this is the given number 153.93 in decimal in decimal so we need to find the corresponding octal equivalent so we have to consider this is having both integer part as well as fractional part so integer part we have to repeatedly divide with 8 because for octal octal number system the radix are base is 8 radix are base is 8 so 8 ones are 8 so we left with 7 73 so 8 nines are 72 so we left with 1 reminder 1 next 8 twos are 16 right so we'll reminder 2 3 1 2 3 1 so for the integer part 153 in decimal the corresponding octal equivalent is 2 3 1 2 3 1 this is in octal for the fractional part so what we have to do for the fractional part we have to multiply with 8 so 8 threes are 24 8 threes are 24 8 nines are so 8 threes are 24 4 will be there 2 will be there 8 nines are 72 74 so 7.44 7.44 so the integer part is 7 now the fractional part we have to take 0.44 again we have to multiply with 8 so 8 fours are 32 so 3 will be there again 8 fours are 32 so 35 so 3.52 so 3 we have to collect integer part we have to collect the fractional part is 0.52 again if you multiply with 8 so 8 twos are 16 1 8 fives are 40 41 so 4.16 so the integer part we have to collect integer part is 4 fractional point is 0.16 again we have to multiply with 8 8 6 are 48 so we will have 4 8 ones are 8 8 plus 4 12 so 1 1.28 so integer part is 4 so this process is continue if we collect up to 4 digits it will be fine so for the fractional part 0.93 in the decimal the corresponding octal equivalent is 0.73 sorry this is 173 Four, one. So we can write for the given decimal number 153.93, 153.93, the corresponding octal equivalent is 231.7341. So this will continue but we are uh, satisfied with uh, 4 digits. So this is the corresponding octal equivalent. So what we have to do? The integer part we have to repeatedly divide and we have to collect these reminders in the reverse order that are from top to bottom whereas for the fractional part we have to multiply the fractional part and whatever integer part we will get that we have to collect and the fractional part whatever we will get again that we have to multiply and we have to take the integer parts in the same order in the same order are top to bottom so for the given decimal number so this is the corresponding octal equivalent right we will see one more example so 365 is given decimal number 365 we have to find the corresponding hexadecimal equivalent so what we have to do as it is having the only integer part we have to divide with as it is a hexadecimal number the radix is 16 radix is 16 so divide with 16 16 ones uh, sorry 16 twos are 32 right 45 so again 16 twos are so here it is 65 we have 
and 32. So if we subtract, we will get 52. And this is so uh, here we have 45. 45. So 4 minus 3, it is 1. So we left with the remainder 13. So again, if we divide with 16, 16 ones are 16, and we left with a remainder of 6. So further division is not possible. So in hexadecimal, 13 means so that is equivalent to D. So now we have to write the reminders in the reverse order or bottom to top. So for the given 365, given 365, the corresponding hexadecimal equivalent is 16D. 16D. So this is the corresponding hexadecimal equivalent. Corresponding hexadecimal equivalent. So we have to divide whatever radix we have to find with that radix we have to divide the given decimal number. Right. We will see one more example. Oh, we will stop here. In the next class we will see binary arithmetic operations. So thank you for watching. I request everyone to subscribe Easy B Tech channel and share to your friends. Thank you.